Today I will show you how to recover a losing challenge every time. From negative 3-4% you can reach the 10% target if you use the prop EA. This expert advisor allows you to hedge on your life account fully automatically. And I already explained in another video how it works. If you purchase on a challenge, the expert advisor will automatically sell on your life account and vice versa. If you pass the challenge, you lose some money in your life account. But if you fail the challenge, you recover the costs for your challenge in your life account. So you are not losing anything and you can buy a challenge again. And actually they have recently added two calculators. One is the Prop EA calculator, which shows how much money you need in your life account if you want to use the prop EA. For example, let's say you have a $10,000 challenge and you have paid what is it? $150 for it. The max drawdown is 5 target, 10%. And then you have a normal trading mode. You would need about $330 in your life account. And below you can see the potential outcome. It's either you will fail the challenge and you would profit $150 in your life account or you will have money to buy a challenge again. Or if you reach the target of 10% in your prop account, you would lose about $300 in your life account. So as I said, if you pass the challenge, you will pay some money from your life account. Now the purpose of this video is not to explain how the Prop EA works, but I want to show you how I am going to recover a challenge that is already on a loss and what are the inputs that I'll be using. Obviously, if the challenge doesn't recover, I will have some some profits in my life account. So right in front of me, I have a $100,000 challenge, which is sitting at $96,076. So it's lost nearly 4% from expert advisors I was testing on this account. And you can see that there is already a short trade that opened with a lot size of 8.33. And at the same time, I have a life account, which I funded with with $1,200 and I have a long trade with just 0.49 lots. And you can compare the entry price, 2033.12 cents. And on my challenge, I have 2032.94 cents. So it's just a few cents difference in the entry price between the prop account and the life account. Now the inputs that I've set in my challenge account is the target, which is $10,000. Max daily loss is $5,000. Max loss is 15% of $15,000. At the total cost, I've set to $650, even though the cost of the challenge was about $600 at the time when I purchased it. So I just added an extra $50 to have as commissions, spreads, swaps, or any other cost I might have as an extra. But the interesting thing here is is that once I attach the expert advisor, it checks the history and it detects the losses. So it automatically calculates exactly with how much it will trade in order to reach the target or to recover the costs. And in this example, it calculated that for the prop firm, it will sell with 8.33 lots and in the life account, it will buy with 0.49 lots. So it doesn't really matter what challenge you have or how much you've lost in that challenge, you can try to recover it with a prop EA. And I'm really excited to see if that will work. And I just placed a little bit more money to what the calculator showed me. And there is actually one more calculator from prop EA that is called prop meter. And in this one, you can see how complex is your challenge. For example, the one I have is $100,000 and I paid about $600. There are 10 
minimum trading days. The max drawdown is 15%. The target is 10% and the daily drawdown is 5%. So you can see that the prompt meter says that I have a good challenge. Well, it's on a loss at the moment, so I don't really find it a good challenge, but we will see if the prop EA will be able to recover it or if I'll make some money in my life account. And I continue a few days later to show you some interesting results. If you look at my VPS, you will see that I lost the challenge, negative $15,244. And this is because I had these three losing trades. The first one resulted in nearly $2,900 of a loss, then two trades with $4,200 of a loss. And all of these were short trades and they all hit the stop loss. However, in my life account, I have some decent results. And when I say decent, I mean I completely recover the cost of the challenge. If I switch to the screen, you will see the very same opposite trades, three long trades. And the first one brought me $150, second one $275 and third one $227 all in total above $650 just as much as I have placed as a total cost in the prop EA settings. So the losing challenge I had is now lost but I recovered in my life account the cost that I paid for the challenge and now I can withdraw these profits from my life account and purchase another challenge if I decide. Now the other outcome was that the challenge was successful and have the losses in my life account. But what happened in this example is that the three trades on the challenge went on a loss and the very opposite trade on the life account went on a profit. So it's gonna be one of the two but at the end you will recover your challenge. So you may ask is it worth it? Well let me tell you how I find the prop EA useful. What I usually do is I put a robot on a challenge and recently I decided to make all of my challenges and those from my team public so you can see them all in here listed in a table and I share which EAs I use to pass these challenges. So we've placed as well the track record so in one place you can see the performance of any of the expert advisors and you can decide if it is a good fit for you and we are fully transparent on that page so we can see how the challenges are going on a profit and on a loss you can see that some of the challenges are actually on a loss at the moment and as well we shared some of the funded accounts again with the robots that we are currently using and I don't want you to take any of the prop forms listed as a recommendation I'm not even accepting sponsorships from prop firms anymore until we see which ones will stay on the market but what I was saying is that once I place a robot on any challenge and I see that one is losing I can recover it with the prop EA so if the robot is profiting on the challenge, I just leave it until it reaches the target. If it starts losing, I switch to the prop EA and I pay some extra money from my life account, but at least I recover the challenge. And as you saw, if the challenge doesn't recover, I make enough to purchase another challenge, which makes sense to me, but it's up to you if you want to use it. I'll leave the link to the prop EA down below and in the description. If you visit the website, you will see the pricing at the time you are watching this video and it's up to you which prop firm or what type of challenge you will be using. I just wanted to share in this video that you can use the prop EA to recover your challenge or to recover the costs you paid for the challenge. I also leave the link to the best FTMO robot page where we update the results on all of our challenges and funded accounts daily and we share the robots we used to pass these challenges. Of course, there is never a guarantee that the robots that are profiting today will be profitable tomorrow, but I thought that this kind 
kind of transparency will be useful for every beginner and even advanced traders because we are testing many robots on plenty of accounts so why not share the results with you guys as always thanks for watching and staying with me until the end before you go check out this video on my side and you'll learn more about the robot that passed the challenge fully automatically for me as always don't forget that i love you and i'll see you in the next video